Subscribe now and I'll love you forever. As you may have guessed, I kind of have an affinity for Apple products. <laughs> but you, what you might not have guessed is that most of my Apple products I have not bought from Apple or at full price. Now, in this video I'm gonna tell you why. So I like hunting for deals. I always buy things at the best deal possible and only then will I buy it directly from Apple if I can't find the best deal possible elsewhere. So this Series 5 stainless steel Apple Watch, I got not from Apple. My Magic Keyboard for the iPad Pro and my wife's Magic Keyboard for her iPad Pro, neither one of those were from Apple. And then my iPad Pro itself also, even though it was the M1 version and I got it brand new, still sealed, wasn't from Apple. All of these things that I'm mentioning, I bought on eBay. Yes, I know, before you run away and hide. eBay can be a little controversial. A lot of people don't trust eBay, don't like eBay. And I get that, I understand that. My dad and I have run his business through eBay for the last few years. So I know a thing or two about eBay and I know kind of how it works and I know kind of what to look for on eBay on how to not get scammed and still get good products. So this Apple Watch, silver stainless steel model. You could buy this from Apple, Series 5. You can buy this from Apple for like five to six to seven hundred dollars, depending on the size and the stainless steel and all that stuff, right? And the strap you get with it. That's, that's a crazy price. I would never pay seven hundred dollars for a watch. But the stainless steel model is always really cool to me. And I've shattered my Apple Watch screens before. So the better sapphire screen on the stainless steel models really appealed to me. I bought this one and found it refurbished on eBay for $330. That's really good. I also found the Series 4 stainless steel in space black. And then just the normal Series 4, 44 millimeters, I was like 180. So these are some really good deals. And these are refurbished, and I got them. My wife, I got one for my wife. Really good price. Things like brand new. Yes, unfortunately, it does not come with the beautiful Apple packaging in the box. And as you may know, I love my Apple boxes, but it's okay. It saves me money. I'm here for the actual Apple products more than I am for the box. I save the boxes for friends who want to give me the boxes, things I actually buy from Apple themselves, or I can just buy the box from eBay directly if I wanted to. So, how do I know I'm not getting scammed when I get products? So you can never be sure, of course, until you get the product in your hand, unfortunately. But there's a lot of things to look for. Like, one, read the reviews that this person got, that the seller got. Are they a company or are they a, just a person selling their own thing, you know? Are they a company who specializes in refurbished things? See if you can Google them. See if you can read all of their reviews on eBay. See if you look at all their other products. Are they rated top seller or top seller plus? If so, that's a really good sign because eBay is kind of strict on sellers. And if you are underperforming, then they will definitely come after you. I have been a seller on eBay through my dad's business for a while. And my rating has gone from top seller to above standard just because I one month wasn't so great. And so then it went back up to top seller. And so it's just, you know, it always depends. So if you're staying at top seller, if this person's at top seller, that's really good. And that's an achievement. And that also brings more buyers to that person because that person can be trusted. Especially if you check out the reviews, like I mentioned, see how many positive reviews they have versus negative reviews they had. That's a really good thing to do. I know a lot of people don't trust eBay. It's not like buying brand new, but it's definitely worth it. I saved like four or $500 on this watch. That's insane right? Uh, the fear of getting it refurbished versus brand new. Okay. Yes. This one was not brand new out of the box. I got this one, the battery uh, health, I think was like at 96% or 93%, something like that, right? That's not a hundred percent when you get the watches at a hundred percent. So that's a little bit less battery life. And guess what? I haven't noticed a freaking difference. I have noticed that my wallet isn't crying because I paid, you know, $500 or $600, $700, 400 I don't know. I can't math. I paid a lot less money for this watch than I did if I were to buy it directly from Apple. Same thing with the Magic Keyboard on my wife's 11-inch iPad Pro. I bought that for $150. It came with a box. Thing was perfect condition. Use the black one. No scrapes, no dings, no nothing. Looked great, worked great, still works. It's been a few months we've had it. No signs of issue at all. Paid $150. If I were to buy it from Apple, it would have been $300. So that was $150 I saved right there. And then my Magic Keyboard from Apple was not also not from Apple. So 
I have the white Magic Keyboard. As you may have noticed, I recently got the white one because my black one stopped working. Yes, the black one, I got it with my 2018 12.9 inch iPad Pro a while ago, like, you know, Christmas time. So it's been a while and I used that and it lasted six, seven months. And I think the, and I took it to Apple and I think the only reason it stopped working was water damage, unfortunately. Nothing to do with the fact that I bought it on eBay, but unfortunately I spilled some liquid on it and then a few days later it just stopped working altogether. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. The guy at the App Store said I could just been dropped one too many times, you know, all these different things. So I'm very confident that it was not an issue from buying it directly from eBay. Now, I had to buy the white one because I needed a keyboard, I had to buy one, and I decided to get the white one. It was $250 for the 12.9 inch. From Apple directly, it would have been $350. So that's another $100 that I just saved right there. You see what I'm kind of getting at? Like, these are really good deals. And then, my wife's iPad Pro. I didn't get this one on eBay. But I also didn't get it from Apple. I got it on Facebook Marketplace, I looked for deals, I talked to people, and I found the best one. And it came with the 11-inch iPad Pro 2018, the Apple Pencil, a screen protector, and two cases that were from Best Buy. They were actually really good cases, $700. For the time, that was, that was not a bad price. This was, I think, this was, I think, in late 2019. So before the even 2020 model came out. So that was a really good price for that. And it's lasted us for a few years. And now my wife has it. My M1 iPad Pro, I couldn't get it from Apple because they had sold out and I needed it. I wanted to get it really soon. So what I did is I looked on eBay and what people have done, what people did is they bought a whole bunch of them from Apple and then sold them. Now I'm not exactly sure because it, it was like $30, $40 less than it was from Apple. The one I got was 256 gigs with Wi-Fi and no cellular. Directly from eBay for like $30 less than Apple. I don't know why. It was a little bit cheaper. I figured you'd buy it and then sell it for more. But hey, it came, it was still sealed in the box. Now, all this kind of sounds scary. Here's what the best thing is. eBay will always side, most more often than not, I guess, with the buyer over the seller. So if you buy something and it's not as described, meaning it's fake or it's damage that you did not realize when you bought it, or you just practically changed your mind, most sellers should accept returns and always check that before you buy the item. But if you don't check returns, also eBay will still side with you if you make a claim and eventually you will get your money back. Now, if you don't want to use eBay, I mentioned Facebook Marketplace. There's one more place. It's called Mercari. I just found a couple things on there. I got my wife's leather blue Apple iPhone 12 case. And I got myself the silicone Capri Blue iPhone 12 Pro Max case. I got them both for like 30 bucks. So that's 30 and they both came with boxes. So it's really good. The leather case is normally 60 and the silicone is normally 50. So I saved about 50 bucks. That's not a bad deal. Yes, the leather one was a little bit worn just because, you know, leather gets worn out just from you looking at it nowadays. It was still in good condition. I've been using it for a while. She loves it. I love my case. I also got D-Brand's grip case for the 12 Pro Max with the skin that I actually wanted on it. And that was only 20 bucks for Mercari rather than buying it directly from D-Brand for like $60 for the entire set. So that's my take on buying Apple products for a really good price. And I really hope that some of you will take advantage of this and buy yourselves the Apple products that you've always wanted for the price that Apple sells Apple products that just aren't worth that price anymore. Like you can get a Series 3 Apple Watch from Apple, almost for the same price that I paid for the Series 5 44 millimeter stainless steel model on eBay. Does that make sense? So I hope this helps somebody. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Be sure to check out my other videos, like, subscribe, everything. I'm Jake, this is Shout On My Phone.